Hello parents and campers, I'm Kim Keith, Vice President of Youth Development for the YMCA of the Triangle. I'm also a mom of three boys who go to YMCA summer day camp. We're so excited to be gearing up for a strong summer here at the Y and another great summer day camp season. At the Y, we know a strong summer means strong kids. We know you have a lot of choices when it comes to choosing a camp. That's why we wanna share what makes YMCA summer day camp so special. We'll be joined by parents just like you who will share their experiences at YMCA Summer Day Camp and you'll hear from some of our counselors about why they love working with kids at the Y. Plus, we'll hear from experts on why YMCA Summer Day Camp is so important for kids. But we wanted to show you some of the fun we pack into a few hours at Summer Day Camp. Take a look. My absolute favorite activity is getting to swim. Hey. Hey. Archery at camp, they would give you a bow and then there's arrows and then you would try and get it to the middle. If someone was going to Y Summer Camp for the first time and they were nervous, I'd say, don't be nervous. Nobody will judge you there. It's just a way to have fun in the summer and you get to hang out with other kids your age. I, I don't know how else to describe it. Camp is just awesome. While campers and counselors have a lot of fun, we intentionally include learning in every activity. Our counselors help our campers develop new skills, explore new interests, and build confidence. Parents see a difference. Let's hear from one family and their favorite counselor. My name is Lindsay Williams, and this is my son, Casey. He is nine years old and in fourth grade. And we have been a part of the Y summer camp last year. He has also been in the Y for some track out days during school. And then recently he just finished playing the Y sports basketball league. He was a Spartan. Last year, we chose the Y summer camp after a lot of research. We were thinking about the best way to help Pacey have a great summer. He is super high energy, very routine oriented, and he loves to be active. So when we were researching different options in our community, the why came up. And um, when I went online and read the mission statement, that's really what helped me to understand the why's philosophy. All right, Pacey, what's, what's some of your favorite things about summer camp? I love to be play basketball and I love to be swimming in, in the pool and I like to be eating with you. Hanging with me. Pacey gained so much from the summer camp experience, absolutely. Number one, he learned how to be a better friend. Uh, he was always encouraged to be kind to the other campers during their weekly huddles. He got to know a lot of the other children. He got to know all of the counselors that were there. He learned how to be safe around water and he learned how to do things like wait his turn, um, help others. When he was in our program with the staff, what did that look like? You know, what made you feel like you could trust us and, and be safe in that kind of realm of area? Well, I distinctly remember the very first day Pacey went to summer camp. We were a little bit nervous. It was his first day. And so we all piled in the car to come pick him up. And uh, we were waiting first once in the carpool line. And we definitely heard Pacey before we even saw him coming. He busted out of the school doors and was running down the walkway. And he was saying, Mom, I got my beads and jumped in the car. And he was just smiling from ear to ear. He had the best day. And from that day on, we just knew that he was in the best environment for him. If there was a parent out there that wasn't sure, you know, about the why or summer camp in general, um, what kind of advice would you give them as a first year person coming into the Y programs um, or camp in general? For me, I just think one of the blessings of the Y is that not only is there a diversity and inclusion policy in place, but it is in practice. And that Pacey has the opportunity that every other child does to come to camp. YMCA, go. 
sounds like the Williams family really loves camp. We can't wait to see them again. Parents, we understand how important it is for your kids to be active, included, and safe. That's why we're committed to hiring and training the best counselors in the Triangle. Our staff members are young adults in high school or college. Many were campers themselves. They are energetic, caring, and encouraging. Above all, they model good behavior. Take a look. So my name is Eliza. This will be my 10th summer working at Summer Day Camp in my second year as director. This will be my fourth year working at Summer Day Camp. This will be my third year working at Summer Day Camp. This will be my seventh summer working at Summer Day Camp and I think my ninth summer being a part of Summer Day Camp. I love working with the kids. The kids are so much fun. And our staff, we really get to know each other. It really feels like a family here. My favorite part is coming back every summer and seeing the kids that I had that were in fifth grade that are now silts or kids that were in third grade are now in middle school and you see how much they've grown and matured. Um, so I really like that. It really does feel like a family reunion. So we all know that like the wise summer day camp is full of fun, but beyond that, what is the impact it has on kids and what do each of you intentionally do to help foster that impact while working at summer day camp? Camp gives kids something to look forward to. The biggest impact that I've seen um, is just the relationship building um, and how much that um, feeds into character development. How has working at camp specifically impacted you guys, both personally and professionally? I want to be a teacher. And so it, it, it has, you know, exposed me to, you know, different ways that you can impact kids. Um, and then personally, um, camp has given me some of the best friends that I've ever had. Can you guys talk a little bit about the kind of training you receive as summer day camp staff and why it's important um, and how many hours about do you receive of training? As a counselor for me, uh, per summer, we received maybe about like 30 hours of training. Um, and it spans over the over a course of about three weeks. Um, and so every night, um, about four days a week, we get together as a staff and we learn um, how to deal with different scenarios that might come up at camp. And we learn about like key safety features like CPR, pool safety. You have to have this energy and this excitement so that the kids will have it too. And you really see that when you get to camp. Um, so what is one thing that you guys would tell a parent who is considering signing their child up for a wide summer camp? You see the kid by the end of the week, like they've had so much fun and there's so much more outgoing, outgoing and you get to see them like grow and develop. I've had so many parents come up to me like the next morning after the camp or the afternoon of camp um, and rides out and rides in and they are just like either astonished by how tired their kid is because they've been literally running around the entire day um, and we get them to be able to sleep and relax by the time they get home um, or they're astonished by like how much fun their like kid is actually having. I think one thing that I saw last summer for our Y camps were uh, a lot of parents were just looking for their kids to get out of the house because of everything that had happened the previous year with the pandemic. Um, and kids were really, their, their parents are really craving for their kids to um, have social interactions again. Um, and so if you're really looking for that for your kid, um, if you're looking for a little break too during the summer, um, sign your kid up for camp. Thanks, Eliza. Over the past few years, all of our children have been isolated from friends and glued to technology. At the Y, campers unplug from devices and meet new friends. We want to enhance their social emotional learning and interaction with peers. We spoke with a local medical expert about the importance of summer day camp, especially now. My name is Emily D'Agostino. I am an epidemiologist and I am a assistant professor in the Department of Orthopedic Surgery within the Division of Occupational Therapy at Duke University School of Medicine. The YMCA of the Triangle um, has taken several steps to put the health of their campers and their staff and families um, as a top priority. They strictly adhere to Centers for Disease Control and Prevention guidelines to keep children and families safe during COVID-19. 
There was a study in uh, 2020 that was published in the journal Pediatrics, which is the top pediatrician's journal of, or children's journal of the country. Um, and this article um, was performed together with YMC of the Triangle and researchers from Duke University School of Medicine. And it showed that over a period of 147 days, this was in the summer of 2020, across 54 day camps, there were only two cases of COVID spread that were on site. Um, this was across over 7,000 individuals. This included staff and children, and just one camper and one staff uh, member were um, uh, had COVID, and that was attributed to on-site transmission. So that's an extremely low uh, transmission rate, and we know that that helps us to understand that the YMCA of the Triangle is truly doing everything that they can to reduce spread and to promote health in the community. Day camps provide such a benefit to youth. Um, this includes social, socialization um, and mental health promotion. This includes physical activity promotion and obesity prevention and reduction. Um, it allows them to have um, positive mentors um, or exposure to positive mentors and peer groups and socialization. Um, it allows them to practice sports and recreation and arts and crafts, all of the wonderful things that we hope that youth have exposure to. During COVID, we're realizing that children are not being provided with the opportunity to socialize. So the YMCA of the Triangle and the programs that it provides become even more important to promote the socialization of youth in the community. In order for youth to thrive, they need positive mentors. Places like the Y of the Triangle allow youth to have those exposures while being in a place that is safe. And we know this based on the evidence from the studies that I've mentioned. We know this based on all the efforts um, and resources that are being devoted to ensure that even during a time like COVID-19 and the COVID pandemic, that youth and their families can remain safe while attending Y programs. While it is helpful for youth to have unstructured time together and to play, it's also really critical for them to work with positive mentors who are trained to make sure that when they are together with youth, they are modeling positive behaviors such as communication, problem solving, um, making sure that um, they can promote social cohesion across peer groups, um, making sure that they model um, positive ways of thinking um, and um, what to do when there are challenges. That intentional programming helps youth to learn positive ways that they can interact both with their peers, um, with mentors, um, in and out of school, um, so that intentional programming becomes extremely important to their success. We have three children, uh, one boy and two girls. Our two younger children will be going to day camps. So absolutely, we would send our children to the Y. Thank you, Dr. D'Agostino. If you're like me, you want your child to be prepared to have the best time at camp. And you want to be prepared too. That's why we've asked Rodney McCormick, one of our camp experts, to give us a few tips. Thanks, Kim. We can't wait to see campers this summer. Here are the top five things you need to know. Number one, feet necklaces. On the first day of camp, campers receive a blank necklace and every day they can earn beads in the five colors that represent a different character trait. Bead necklaces are a favorite tradition and a creative way to reinforce good behavior in kids. Different camps use different beads, but the intent is the same, to reinforce positive behavior, character traits, or a special achievement. Number two, my favorite assemblies. Each morning an assembly gets campers excited about the day. Campers sing songs, participate in skits, and bond with other campers and their counselor. Number three, theme weeks. Campers and our counselors love our theme weeks because they focus on fun. Some days we dress up and some of my favorites are Wet n Wild and Superhero Week. Number four, huddles. We organize campers into small groups called huddles. Each huddle is based on age and grade and has a fun name. 
Be sure to ask your child what their huddle name is when they come back from their first day of camp. The best part of huddles is that campers are with children their own age. Each huddle has one or two counselors to provide the best supervision. Number five, rides in and out. Drop off and pick up may vary from camp to camp, but every location has procedures to ensure the safety of all participants. You can find more information on our website. I can't wait to see you guys this summer. Back to you, Kim. Thanks, Rodney, and thank all of you for joining us. We hope we answered some of your questions. We know you have more. Just go to our website for the answers. When you register for camp, we'll also send you that information in weekly emails. If you haven't registered for camp yet, visit the address on the screen. We can't wait to see you at the YMCA. It's going to be a strong summer. Thank you.